Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is the day. Today is the first time I ever try a food challenge. So as you can see from the title of the video, I'm going to be eating only McDonald's for the next 24 hours. And to be honest, I'm quite excited about it. I was putting off this food challenge for so long, trying to decide which one I wanted to do first. And then I just realized I absolutely love McDonald's. So why not try eat it for 24 hours? Because I've seen a few other YouTubers in Ireland and in different countries doing this challenge. And I actually think I'm going to enjoy it. So why not give it a go? So for any of the people that are usually here, you'd see that this channel is mainly like health and fitness orientated and a bit of lifestyle. I know this isn't my usual carry on from tracking macros but I personally love watching YouTube food challenges and I just think they're really entertaining so I said I'd give it a try. So when I normally eat fast food I usually get the biggest bloat ever. Like my belly literally swells and makes me look like nine months pregnant so I'm going to include a little clip here of how I'm looking this morning before eating or drinking or anything so this is my usual state in the morning and I'm going to compare this to tonight after I finish all my meals from McDonald's and see how I'm looking because to be honest I think I'm gonna look like a beached whale. Okay so enough of the chit chat anyway because it's currently 10.24 and I literally have six minutes to reach McDonald's to get the breakfast menu so I need to run. Welcome to McDonald's, let's get back to take your order please. Okay guys, so I literally just made that by the skin of my teeth. It's like 10.31 now, so I'm surprised you even gave it to me because sometimes they don't in that McDonald's. I asked for chips, but I forgot they don't have chips on the breakfast menu, so gave me a hash brown instead. I've never actually had a hash brown from McDonald's, but here it is, it's quite small. And I have a sausage and egg McMuffin here. This is actually my first time having anything from the breakfast menu at McDonald's. And I know I said I love it, but to be honest, I just haven't come here for breakfast before. This is actually quite heavy, to be honest. It's like heavier than a burger anyway. Here it is. And I literally got this car like three or four weeks ago. I think it's about four weeks at this stage. And I have a rule that there is no eating in my car under any circumstance. But today I'm going to be breaking that rule because I'm not sitting at McDonald's on my own all day recording myself. I'd rather eat in my car. Okay, so that's my first meal down. I'm gonna put the calories on the screen for you because I don't actually know them off the top of my head. And I'm gonna sip on my coffee and probably have one more meal or maybe two more before I go to the gym because today is leg day and I think all the extra calories will go to good use today anyway. Okay guys, so I'm just back from my first meal and I realized I forgot to weigh myself. So I'm gonna weigh myself now and I know it won't be too accurate because I've just had a fair amount of calories but I'm normally around 54 kilos in the morning so I'm just going to check it now so we can compare it later. 53.7 Okay so 53.7 and to be honest only recently I started on a lean bulk so according to my calculation my maintenance calories should be like 1900 but to be honest I think they're actually a lot more than that because my metabolism is really fast it always has been so because of my weight and height and activity levels and things like that, it says 1900, but I think they're actually a lot more than that because I've been eating in and around 2200 calories for the last week or two and my weight hasn't bumped up a lot at all, maybe like 0.5 of a kilo in the last two weeks. So I think I really need to bump it up a bit further because it's not going up the way I want it to. But I definitely think this food challenge today will help me get over that plateau and I'll probably be about 10 kilos heavier this week, but definitely won't be a lean bulk after this. But anyway, for now, I'm just going to leave that meal go down and then I'm going to have my pre-workout meal. I'm going to have something big for that and collect Gary and train some legs. So for now, I'm just going to relax and psych myself up for the rest of the day. Okay, Gary has joined the crew. Hi fam. Oh my God, what are you doing? Yeah. 
this is the off season life that I just see. Caroline asked me to record her, so I was in a rush that morning at work. Yeah, I need Gary to record my workout and just come to McDonald's with me because I really don't want to sit there on my own and record yeah. myself. Are you going to eat inside, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go in for this one. Okay. I don't want to eat in the car all day. Like. Yeah, yeah, okay. I also watched a couple of these challenges and I saw people bring their McDonald's home, which is perfectly fine, but then put it on a plate oh, and eat it with a knife and fork. That's like, what is that? That's like? actually against the law. That it's has to be against some sort of law. It's a sin. Who eats? No one does that. Like, you clearly eat it out of what you're given, though. Know? If Glenn Gillen is watching this, why did you put your McDonald's on a plate? I, I just don't understand. Unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. At least he used his hands still, but there were some people that no. used a knife and fork, like, no, <laughs> they need to go. No. I'm gonna get chicken anyway. Black chicken sandwich? Oh, I hate myself. Okay, I went for the large black chicken sandwich meal. I went for a large, don't know why I went for a large. I've seen other people just go for the medium, but I said I'd go all out. Good. What drink? Coke Zero. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a struggle. And I feel like because I'm recording myself eat as well, I feel like I have to eat faster for some reason. I feel like I'm racing. And yeah, this is actually a bit tougher than what I expected, but I'm still gonna hold it. Okay, so the next McDonald's we're gonna go to is in Blackpool. And there's also a Denny's gym in Blackpool. So I'm gonna head out there now and train there instead because I just can't deal with doing the walk of shame back into this McDonald's afterwards. So I'll catch you there. And as I said, I'm gonna train legs today. I don't know how that's gonna go because honestly right now I just feel like I wanna to go to sleep for a while, but I'm just gonna push through it, get a good session in hopefully and catch you for my post work at again.
Okay, so that is my leg workout done. And if I'm to be completely honest, at the start of the workout, I was actually feeling fine because there was some traffic on the way to the gym. So like the food kind of went down, but oh my God, towards the end of that workout, I was like, nope, I literally just crashed, but I still got it done. So I'm happy with that. And it is now quarter past or almost 20 past three. So I'm quite happy with how things are going. Like, yeah. 20 yeah, past fine. three. I think I need to kind of rush in one more meal and then I'm, I think I'm doing well then. Okay guys, we're back again for post-workout meal. So this time I went for kind of sugary things instead because I'm really sick of eating chips and burgers at this stage. So I got one sugar donut in here. I also have a chocolate chip cookie. I got an Oreo McFlurry. So it says Smarties on the outside, but it's actually Oreo, you can see it. And I also got six nuggets with curry sauce for a bit of protein. So I was kind of looking for sugary carbs and protein with post-workout meal. And then Gary just decided to get a double quarter pound of a cheese meal because why the hell not? So. Bad influence. Okay, I'm gonna start with my donut. I've never actually had a donut from McDonald's. <laughs> Them in the okay, so just in case you think I cheated or anything, I have my McFlurry here and I have my six nuggets with curry there. But yeah, I just needed to get out of that McDonald's to be honest, I just can't hack it. Okay, so before we take the journey home, I'm going to finish this McFlurry because it's just going to melt on the way home anyway. So it's only quarter to four. That's actually fine, like I have all night as well. Yeah, true. So I'm going to finish this now and get going. McFlurry done, finally. So there's a change of plan. I made Caroline stay here and eat the nuggets. Just count those bad boys. Make sure there's six there with you. There is six. Why won't you trust six me? Six nuggets. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I realised as well, if I was driving, there's no way I would have been able to dip my nuggets in my curry and I just couldn't be having that, so I'm going to stay here and eat. Do you even like the taste of food right now, though? Do you know what? I can deal with this. Like, can you appreciate nuggets? Like... Not to their full like, extent, but like, I don't hate them. Right, hunger on a scale of 10 right now? No hunger. Zero. <laughs> I can literally feel a double chin farming. Like I can, I can feel it. It's, it's growing. You can feel the waistline growing by the second. Yeah, well, all my waistline is not there anymore. Six nuggets done in three minutes. Done. 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 Oh my god. Okay guys, I'm home and showered and I had a really quick and effective power nap. So I actually feel really, really good now. I've kind of been fluctuating all day. I've just kind of been like up and down all day. Like I felt really good for the start of my training session and then I literally crashed at the end. But I think the shower and nap did me good and I'm actually kind of hungry, believe it or not, again. Um, definitely not hungry for McDonald's, but this is what we're here for. So I'm going to go and get more food in a minute. So it is currently 20 past 6 and that's actually not too bad to be honest i still have another good bit of food left in me so it's getting dark already and to be honest i'm still not used to these dark evenings it's kind of like a love hate relationship i have with it because on the plus side it's kind of like cuddle season where you can get into your pajamas and your fluffy socks and watch movies and just relax but 
it's also like the days are so much shorter and I feel almost panicked when I see it get dark so early because I'm like I have so much stuff to do but yeah so far so good I think that nap and shower definitely helped because I felt terrible after the gym to be honest I'm not used to eating that many calories in one go and like whatever with the calories I think it's just the amount of shit food in general I'm just not used to it so yeah, I kind of crashed a little bit, but I'm feeling better now and I'm ready for my next meal. So let's get going. Guys, I'm gonna make this my final trip, but I'm gonna get a lot of foods to make up for it. So I'm actually getting uh, one Big Mac with no pickles or cheese. I got five chicken selects, chips, twisted braise, curry sauce, and I also got some Coke. So there's got a few calories here. I'm gonna count them up and leave them on the screen for you, but I'm gonna dig into one of these meals now and actually probably enjoy it because I'm actually quite hungry again, believe it or not. from all the salt I've eaten today and it's like stinging with every bite but I get over it. My little doggo is here and my other doggo <laughs> so this is Oscar say hello Oscar why do you look so nervous all the time <laughs> so Oscar is my pride and joy and he's actually not laid on the couch but look here he is with us anyway having a sniff off my McDonald's I still have one and a half chicken selects left a Big Mac and fries that means you get through do you want to help me Oscar Feels like I'm drowning in this Cause you can see me in the shadows of my fear Feels like I'm drowning You as you left, but I can never seem to let you go. Cause once upon a time, you were my everything. It's clear to see that time hasn't changed a thing. Cause I won't let you down. I won't let you down. I will be singing. Girl, put your love on me. I 
Okay guys, I'm finally finished my challenge and I can confirm that I've never felt so groggy and shitty in my whole life but I'm going to include the clip here now of how I look after eating all that McDonald's from the side and try to compare it to the one that I had earlier on before I ate all my food and I'll show you the difference in my belly and you'll probably see that I wasn't lying that when I say I look like a nine month pregnant lady but yeah there you go okay guys so there you go there's my first ever food challenge and I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy it because I actually did in ways and in other ways I'm just like internally suffering and I think I definitely just need to get to sleep now and start tomorrow as if this never happened because otherwise I'll be guilty for the rest of my life. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll catch you next time.